Ну что, уйти? Ну а что, да нет, с 30 я кажется, спокойно, я что-то тебя не стесняюсь, бабуль стесняюсь. Ну, они-то они -то выебываются. Да, они не выебываются, но они, конечно, хихикают, а мне стыдно, потому что по мне все это, конечно, идиот. Ну не суть, ладно, окей, давай попробуем. Попробуй, я буду подсматривать сейчас, все равно очень молодое. Окей. Hi, my name is Evgeny Fatinich, and I was born in Moscow, where I got my Bachelor of Science in Aerospace Engineering. Later on, I got a PhD from UCLA in Computational Mechanics. The projects and classes that I completed in my graduate and undergraduate programs have endowed me with a solid mathematical background, as well as with the ability to apply those skills. Yeah. Hi, my name is Evgeny Fatinich. And I was born in Moscow, where I got my Bachelor of Science in Aerospace Engineering. Later on, I got my PhD in Computational Mechanics from UCLA. Uh, the projects and the classes I completed through school, university and graduate program have endowed me with a solid mathematical background, as well as with the ability to apply my quantitative and programming skills to modern complex uh, real-life phenomena. In order to improve my knowledge in finance, I took a class from San Jose State in corporate finance and completed with an A+. Plus. Looking back at my educational experience, I feel confident that I'm well prepared for rigorous financial and medical program at Haas Mifi. Overall, I'm a hard-working and passionate student and also I'm a fun person to work with. So I believe that I will bring necessary mix of uh, hard work and jokes to my class. So I'm excited to join a group of talented individuals in the program and make my impact. The possibility to apply my quantitative skills to risk management models through the development of complex risk models that could save millions to the industry is an extremely challenging and exciting opportunity to me. So the topic I would like to discuss is the risk management in relationship to latest financial crisis. Recent events in financial industry put the spotlight on the risk management. During the crisis, not all the banks were hit badly, were hit equally. Risk models of some banks signal the problem with mortgage-based, mortgage-backed securities, thus allowing the banks to steer away from them, and hence minimizing the losses. In the aftermath of the credit crisis, it's clear that the quality of the risk management can take a very big difference in the bank's performance. Yet. There are lots of challenges that risk management are facing. Take value of risk, a single a measure which summarizes the risk into a single number. The amount of money the bank can lose on a single day with a probability of 99%. It's, there is no doubt that this measure brought transparency to the market risk and the uh, and is widely used to control and measure the risk. However, value at risk is certainly not a perfect measure. The value at risk captures how bad things can get 99% of time. It says nothing about the size of losses which happen with a probability of 1%. One day out of 100, the loss will be worse, and it will be useful to know how much it will be. Hence, stress testing is an important uh, complement to value at risk analysis. Stress testing has imperfections of its own. It can lead to lots of pointless discussions about the plausibility of particular scenarios. Nor stress testing is fail-safe. The unexpected by definition can be anticipated. It also can be overdone. If the banks were to make provision for every conceivable extreme event, it could never make any business. Now that the banks that the credits have provided lo loads of in your data on stress markets, the risk models are expected to be greatly improved. Even so, there is more likely to be more emphasis on non-statistical ways of thinking about risk, meaning being more rigorous about imagining what can go wrong and thinking through the effects. Another challenge the risk managers are facing is the integration of market and credit risk. Risk management teams at banks have traditionally been divided into groups analyzing credit risks, market risks and operation risks. The credits have demonstrated the weakness of that approach. Loans that investment banks assumed were going to be sold on and treated as market risk became stuck on their books and turned into credit risks. 
Banks lost money on the same mortgage-backed securities in two different ways, as prices went down in the trading book and defaults went up in the banking book. It is apparent that the risks are need to be integrated. I outlined just a few challenges the risk management faces, but it is apparent how complicated and how important the role of risk management is. It is this area of finance where I believe I can utilize my skills and make an impact I'll be proud of. This is fucking terrible. <laughs>